We are back. Today I'm going to to show you you how to build a bedroom. But more specifically a master bedroom. Now we already have the master bath over here. You know, it's very luxurious. Now not all master bedrooms will have a master bath. But because, but this one will. Okay, so first we need to build our walls. Not, I don't want it to get exactly at the staircase where when you get where when you come upstairs you have to go through the master bedroom before you have to in order to go anywhere else upstairs I don't think yet yeah, that's why place, stair placement is important I'm actually going to grab this, so I'm probably going to use it as the lighting. Yeah, save me a little bit of time. Although I probably will alter the placement. Okay. Grab the door. Grab a window. Okay. And yeah, I realize there's a little bit of space right here. I will deal with it later. Actually, I might keep it and just have it as a bit of a indent for a garden. I don't know. Hmm. I really would like to do a second window here. Okay, the first thing I'm going to pick out is the bed. Because that will set your, the tone of your, of your room. You know, it's going to be the most important part of the room. And that's regardless of what kind of bedroom you're doing. Now, depending on the space you have and how old your, the sim whose room this is, 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 it'll depend on what you will put in the bedroom. If you have a college student who maybe has a small apartment, you would want to go with, an, with a single bed. And for, for, to maximize space, you would actually put it in the corner. Or suppose you had a sim who was, was sharing a room with a sister or brother. You know, you would have... Or you'd have that to deal with. But... 
but for the for master bedroom and one of this size, we need a double bed. Well, actually, I could do a single bed because because it isn't a a single person home but this time. But for argument's sake, say quits. So eventually she will get married and her husband will move in with her. You know, depending on you know how the bed looks, it kind of sets the tone. I mean, you know, the room kind of gives you an idea on what kind of color scheme you're going to go with. Because I'm putting it in front of a window, I don't really want a huge headboard that will obscure the window. But if I was going to place this along a wall, I would do that. Modern side, I might have to rethink my light fixture, but I think it'll work. Definitely matches the living room more, but you know, it is a one woman house right now. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to add in in tables or nightstands whatever you want to call them and we want to keep it along the same style dressers. Yes. 
Right now I'm trying to get the basics in the room. I'm not really digging that that hmm, that wardrobe. Let me see. I think I like this a little bit better. a bit too rusted. Yeah, because the placement of this is great. I mean... There we go. Nope. Now, because this is a ladies' be bedroom, you want to have a vanity. And if I don't see one I one I like, I can always make my own. And I can. And if I do that, I'll move this door down a little bit and move this to this wall. So for vanity, do you, do you, you do have a couple options, especially if you got some packs. Let's see, it doesn't come in black. It's a possibility. And let me see. I think I'm gonna go with this one because it has, it has more of a modern look. And most of the furniture in this room is modern. Hmm. And I'm gonna move this door down one block. And th yeah, that'll give us a little bit more clearance. And but yeah, the alternative is if you don't have a vanity or you don't see a vanity that that really serves the style, you can actually just take a dresser like this and you know, we have tons of, of, of wall mirror options. You can just find one that will suit the style. However, for... Be mindful that the longer mirrors may not work. And if you if you're not really that into vanities, you can also have a standing mirror. However, for those do take up space and you know while it's not quite as much as a vanity the 
they, it, they are, I'm, they are really nice. I probably could fit, fit a standing mirror in this room if I wanted it. Again, it depends on the style. Also, I'm going to pick out a chair for the vanity. Yeah, now immediately this is kind of, this is optional. You know, generally when I'm doing my makeup, I don't want to be standing up all the time. And I don't want to pick out anything too modern, and I don't want to pick out anything too... Crazy. Although, although she will be the only one that sees it, so if I do pick out something off the wall. step is going to be wallpaper and carpet. I like to do these these after I've got the furniture picked out because I mean suppose you 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 picked out the furniture well the first and then you realized that the wallpaper you chose looks awful with the With the furniture you want, or worse yet, it completely crashes. Now, if I wanted to, I could do a carpet in here. I mean, uh, yeah, that doesn't look too hideous. I'm not really a fan of it, but it doesn't look too hideous. I don't really like to like carpet. But, you know, that's my building style. So, I... So, normally I would go with a... See what this offers. Hmm. It's not bad. Maybe a little. Yeah, it does kind of mimic the idea, the pattern of carpet or tile, even though it's wood. You know. go too matchy matchy and the coat and the other good thing about using hardwood I can throw some rugs down not quite big enough I just don't think the pattern looks 
good with the furniture. Does it come darker? Okay, I'm kind of feeling like the episode of the Brady Bunch where they're getting ready to to paint the parents' bedroom and, well, I say paint and the paint, but I mean wallpaper. And, of course, Carol wants flowers and Mike wants stripes. I think we're going to go with that for now. I might decide to swap that out. And I can always use one of the smaller pink rugs over here. You know, kind of give it a, its own area. Yeah, that's another cool thing about rugs. If you want to use them to to kind of set up areas in your room or room or sections, I mean they'll do, they'll do it visi visibly. Now let's find wallpaper and then I might change out these lights anyway. <laughs> but I think it may be a little... Mm. Okay, we're gonna go with that for now. Hmm. Actually, let's see what panel... This, this time and then we're going to add lighting and I'm hoping I can find a different chandelier that will work better Accent candles.
don't think a guy will actually want to stay in here that long. <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna be too long. You know, when you're picking out chandeliers, you also gotta keep in mind, mind the height of your ceilings. If, yeah, because you know these are almost touching the floor. If I if I was gonna use this, I'd have to raise the wall a little bit more. I think I'm gonna actually keep those then. Add just one more. Try to center it in the room. Okay. And now we pick out some curtains. I'm gonna have a match in here. I mean, she's I mean, the only one that sees it, but at the same time, I think it'll work a little bit better in here than it would downstairs. Hmm. So now we just accessorize and and add some paintings, and you have yourself a master bedroom. In my next tutorial, I'm going to talk about foyers because I just rem because right now I've got this huge gaping hole in the middle of my build, and I've got a staircase right over here. 